Right, I'm going to tell you about sprite animation, and in particular, kind of how to bounce off edges, and then how to also collide with another object and bounce off that object. Okay, so let's start with bouncing off, off edges. And I've got an app that works right now, and when the start button is clicked, I basically make this guy move to the right, and let's just make this a little slower. Let's make it 10 pixels every 50 milliseconds. So I'm going to click on start moving in my emulator here, and you should see that guy move to the right. Notice when it hits the edge, it just stops. All right, so we're going to want to make it so when it hits that edge, we want to bounce. And there's a couple nice uh, blocks we can use. One is an event, which is edge reach. So, and this tells you no matter what edge you reach, I want to do something. Okay, you can also find out which edge was hit. Uh, we're not going to do that for now. No matter what edge is hit, we are going to bounce. And in fact, there's a block that if you know you've hit an edge, you can then bounce. But you've got to make sure you grab the edge parameter from, from the event oops, and stick it in there. Okay, so now if I rerun my app, okay, um, let's go back to the designer. There it goes. Okay, so now it's going to bounce off every, every edge. Okay, and it doesn't care which, which edge it is. Okay, cool. So now I know how to bounce off edges. Now what about if I want to bounce off an object? And notice that this bounce operation only works on edges of your canvas, right? So we're going to have to use, uh, you know, do the math ourselves. Um, but we're also going to make use of a event called collided with. Okay, so when we collide with this ball, we're going to want to bounce. And really bounce is kind of, you know, if you take 360 minus your current heading, you're going to, you're going to bounce. So in other words, if your heading is 90, 360 minus 90 is 270, and you'll go in the opposite direction. So what I want to do is when I collide with that ball, I want to change uh, my heading, okay, and I want to change it to be whatever it was, all right, so I'm going to go grab the, the current setting of the heading, and I want to do 360, so I'm just going to use type blocking here, I type in 360, and type in minus, so it would give me a minus block, okay, so I want my new heading to be 360 minus whatever the old heading is. Okay, and if you think about it, that, that'll make sense. Um, so if we redo this thing, we're going to want to make, right when I click the start button, let's make him go down, which is going to be 270. Okay, and when he starts going down, he's going to hit this ball, and then what we're hoping is the heading will switch back and then bounce back, back up. So let's go back to the designer, and let's... Um, just reset this so it'll rerun. And let's see if our app, app works. Okay, it's resetting right now. Okay, there's our objects. I'm going to click on start moving, and as we know, that should get the ball moving downward. And then when it collides with anybody else, we're not even asking who it's colliding with, it should change its heading and basically bounce back up. So I'm going to click on start moving. And notice it bounce. Notice it's also still bouncing off the top, the top edge. Okay, so very key events with image sprites: edge reach, you can deal with when you hit an edge of the canvas, and collided with, you know, even like if you're shooting bullets or have objects moving around, and if they touch each other, you can do something on the, on that event.